Hi, I'm Dr. Nielsen, a board-certified veterinary behaviorist, and I'm here to teach you how to protect your dog from the growing spread of Lyme disease by performing a two-minute tick check. That's our way of doing a tick check that avoids triggering any fear, anxiety, or stress in your dog. Isn't that right, Bella? But there's no need to rush to get your tick check done in two minutes. It's okay if it takes longer the first few times, since it's new for both of you. The point is, once you get into the routine, it's quick and easy to do. Now, before we get into the real tick check back at home, it's always good to do a quick visual scan of your dog for any creepy crawlers before returning inside from a walk or hike. All right, looks good. No ticks and no giant sticks. Now we can head home for the full check. Now that we're back home, we can create a relaxing ambiance for your dog with three main factors. The right rewards, the right sound, and the right odors. Or perhaps for your dog, an old tennis shoe smells like heaven. Now that we've got that all set, it's time to get checking. Begin by gently massaging your dog with your fingers to check for tiny irregularities that could be ticks. As you go, give your dog rewards and plenty of verbal praise so they stay calm and happy. You're doing a good job too, pet owner. You want to start at the chest and move towards the head and neck because that's the area ticks tend to prefer. Focus on the lips, eyelid area, and inner surface of the ears, giving extra treats whenever needed if there's a spot that makes your dog a little uncomfortable. Next, give a treat or reward to get your dog on their back for a belly rub and tick check without forcing them. For most dogs, giving a belly rub doesn't require too much forcing. But if your dog isn't in the mood to have any part of their body checked, you're better off waiting until they're in the mood than trying to force it, because that will only create a negative association. Ticks can be small, like sesame seeds small. So part the hair for a closer examination to make sure any irregularity you're feeling isn't a skin tag, freckle, or, if you're massaging the dog's belly, a nipple. And ticks can balloon up after they've had a blood meal, but they won't pop, so please don't try. So what do you do if you find a tick on your dog? Do not panic. Do not use fire. And do not use chemicals. Those could cause the tick to regurgitate its stomach contents and diseases into your dog. Yuck! What you do want to do is grab the tick with a pair of tweezers as close to the insertion point as possible and pull straight out. You want to avoid grabbing the belly of the tick for the same reason mentioned earlier. After you pull the tick out, place it in a jar of rubbing alcohol, which will safely kill and store it for future identification if needed. Once you're all done, give your dog a final reward and give yourself a high five for keeping your dog safe from the risk of Lyme disease. And that's how you administer a two-minute tick check.